We'll see what units and heroes we will bring out for this matchup this time round in comparison to the last matchup we just had there, which was Pongard versus Odin Leaders Pongard picking up the 2 0 win on that one. Okay, so when it comes to the attack here, you can see plenty of pole axes on this side of Holy Crusaders. You've got some malls in there, you've got some short swords, some pikes, not as many as uh, the Pongard guys had. Um, on the defense, you have Similar idea, pole axes. There's one glaive, you've got uh, Tinjev as his dual blade. You've got plenty of uh, pikes this time around on the defense. You've got Jacketry, Mass Flames, Rocks are Dark Flame, all with Fingways, but there's no Cav. No Outlanders, no Cav, nothing. There is Cyclean Militia um, being used in this. There's Senji Grenadiers, there's Modal Fort Abrasho, IPGs, Banner Guards as well in there. We've got some Grey Hairs on the defense, some Flamers. And on the attack, you have Modal, Grey Hairs, you've got IPGs, you've got Outlanders, Outriders, sorry, you've got Fort Abrasho, you've got some Modal. Some javelins, um, yeah, and then obviously some some village watchmen and some little woodcutters to push these siege towers. So we'll wait to see how this one goes around, guys. Surf Slayers on the defence, it's Holy Crusaders on the attack. Very, very good sides, these two teams, and it's going to be a really interesting matchup. There's not going to be a sally out by the looks of it on this one. So there's definitely not going to be a sally out like we've seen in the last matchup. So this is going to be a, a much more tighter battle here. Are they going to be able to take the siege towers down? Is it going to be a good effort for that, for Surf Slayers to take out as much siege equipment as possible? We'll wait and see. Guys, I really do appreciate you guys all being here as well. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for everything as well. And all the gifted subs, guys, I really do appreciate it. Everything that's coming along this way, all your views, guys, all helps the channel grow and also helps the CB rivals get some more exposure. We've, we're going to be streaming the finals on the 1st of May on the CB rivals ch uh, channel. If you haven't already followed it, find search on Twitch. CB Rivals, get involved in that and you can watch the finals on the 1st of May. It are going to be really interesting matches up um, for the finals. So we're looking forward to how, see how the first season of CB Rivals goes and who will be the overall victors. Will it be Pongard who just went on to be undefeated for this whole time? So like we say, the same same strategy, similar idea here. We're going to try and push all three siege towers, see what they could do, try and bait out uh, all these artillery is trying to t knock them out as quickly as possible you've got what the flame just kind of out on this left hand side gateway just to kind of check and see what's going on uh, and see what's happening here and then you've got on the right hand side some people just putting up uh, all the ladders just trying to bait some heroes off of the pointers and the artillery so that you can get these siege towers pushed up as quickly as you can uh, siege towers need to kind of be up for a um it's really difficult to take a otherwise so Siege towers very very crucial and taking out the artillery is very very crucial on the attack. Um, nobody's used a treb yet, which is very interesting because normally trebs you'll see used to take out the artillery as quickly as possible, knowing that the artillery can take out the siege towers if focused and paying attention to them quite quickly. Surf slayers I thought would have uh, would have sallied out a little bit to be honest and kind of kind of done a similar strat, but they are they are quite good with their infantry and will be interesting to see how they how they match up uh, on this wall and if they're going to defend the A point at all um, with their units or how they do it. Are they going to defend down the gateway, uh, down the stairs, down at the bottom of the stairs and just give A three? We'll wait and see. Holy Crusaders at this mean point, just just making sure they're using and taking their artillery, trying to take out artillery as much as possible, and trying to get the two siege towers over. This far right siege tower being the most important one, uh, by the looks of it, they're protecting it, a couple of heroes protecting the front and back, and there's only a couple of bits of artillery that can actually reach that and fire at that, so that makes sense that the far right siege tower is the one to go for. Tin Jeff has jumped off of the gate, as you can see, he's taken out Young. Is he going to pick up the first kill? Tinjev does pick up the first kill of the battle. He picks up Young and he will jump back up. Roxar also jumped in to support him. God King Azur is going to come and try and pick up Roxar. Roxar is just going to try and bait up, but the, tr the siege tower will make it, will it? Just make it, or is Roxar going to get stuck on the gate? He's took his unit off so he can kill Roxar. That is class. That is a class bit of play there. They took the unit off so the Roxar can not get back up in support. But Lex and Kara are jumping off of the wall. Tinjev's jumping off the wall still. He's going up the wall though. Will they take out the units very close to the wall just to stop the push of the siege tower? But right siege tower, centre right siege tower has gone up. And Fire Right Siege Tower will still make it, even though the efforts of Kara and Lex. God King Azura is up on the wall. Are they going to try and get up there and stop these guys that are just pushing up to the wall? Kill the heroes as they get up. Lex and Kara will go down. Lex does fall to people. People picks up that kill. Kara falls to Gotchi. And now all the heroes from 
Holy Crusaders are now up on the wall. They're giving it for free. A is going to be given for free. Surfslayers are not defending it, but they have units all set up at the bottom of the stairwells ready for any of these pushes of the units. Titrev is back. Let's go. There we go. So Fatboy's going to cap A all by himself. And then you're going to have Holy Crusaders setting up for this push. How are they going to do this? How is it going to be? In terms of the push unit-wise, as you can see, we have some... Modal, we've got IPGs, you've got some Palace Guards in there, plenty of IPGs actually, there's some Claymores in here which is interesting to see, and we've got some Palace Guards. Bigger Apple and Roxar trying to, well Roxar's trying to get in here with a pike, but he's been grabbed and thrown in and Roxar will fall. He's still being capped at this point in time, but Bornoff is going looking around the right hand side to kind of bait some heroes over there. They're pushing down this far left, siege to, uh, left side uh, staircase, and Cerslayers are just rotating most of their units around. Kind of Keeping yourself moving, not staying in one position, but also always moving. That is one thing that you'll notice with the top tier teams, is they don't keep their unit stationed for too long. They will keep them moving. They're constantly on the move to avoid any damage from things like javelins or any ranged units or ranged classes. And obviously trying to avoid anything like traps, so that traps aren't going to be hitting them stationary, just standing there waiting in defense. Even if it's things like Fort Abrasio, they, they can't just sit there. You, you can't just sit them there unless it's a choke point. They can't be touched from anything and it's completely out of the way. All I can say there's are pretty much focusing all on the left-hand side. Borgnoff is just on the top right-hand side, but he might get chased up here. self so guys are trying to bait to see what units are there. And they're just going to start picking up units for free here. This is just going to be... Some units picked up for free. Bornoff uh, Born does not really bother by the units that are there. By the looks of it, Bornoff is... Uh, what unit is he using? It does look like it was IPGs, and he's he's going to lose a couple of IG, IPGs to that. Um, IPGs are pretty slow, so they're pretty easy to pick off one by one from behind, uh, especially when you've got a couple of heroes there. Now, Holy Crusaders are moving down to the bottom of the staircase. Cerslers are rotating their units across. Claymores have picked up... Oh, the Banner Guards. Cerslers have sponges, just used the Banner Guards for their charge. Boost, and they're going to push them in. All the push is coming down. Jackie Train's trying to pick up Daddy Dragon here, as he's around the back here, as the mall, he's trying to take out all the IHGs. Surfslayers closing in on this units at the bottom of the stairwells. What can they do? Senji Grenadiers throwing in some grenades, throwing in some damage. Here comes a couple of ch calf charges in, and some units will die. Plenty of units falling there on that charge. That was a good wee push there for Surfslayers, a good wee pinch in the stairwell. There's no other push coming in from any other direction at this point in time, so Surfslayers will avoid anything in the back here at that point in time and have pushed him back down to 12 heroes on the attack a couple of hundred units difference here what 50 50 60 unit difference here but heroes are dying heroes are starting to push out Bornoff is pushing out i don't know where he's thinking about going but he's been picked up daddy dragon is an immovable as a mountain god king azura is just out in the back here trying to get some units heroes are going around i don't know what the heroes or what their plan is with the heroes here gotchi if, if he had I don't know what he's fighting, but he's fighting nobody there. And God, I don't know what God she was doing, guys. If anybody know what God, anybody understand what God she was doing, please let me know. Answers on a postcard, because I have no idea what he was fighting. He was fighting nobody, but the Pike and Young and Gotchi are going to pick up some cap on the home point here. Gotchi, I think, was planning to do that in the first place, but was a bit laggy and behind. Gotchi's going to try and stop Jackie Trin, and as you can see, Young's capping quite a good bit here of the home point. Cerslers are kind of rotating around. Lots of Holy Crusaders are coming in the main gateway. Now they're going to have to go towards that supply point. Cerslers are so far back on that home point. Uh, on the, the old supply point, but they're going to have to rotate quickly. The whole point is still being capped at this point in time as well. They can't keep them off of it. Young doing some work here. Arca is on it defending as long as possible. But Holy Crusaders, with plenty of units coming round, round from that far right side, getting the supply point, and they're going to send some units in. Can they get the unit kills and the hero kills that are on the home point and start capping home point even more? There's plenty of heroes fighting. There's four defense, but there is only two attackers at the moment of time. God King Azura is going to come in. Is he going to wipe some of these heroes here? If he can, that would be pretty epic from them, but there's plenty of... It's a cav v cav battle down here. The defense are doing well. Gunblade's starting to cap a little bit more, but... The supply point fight is where it's at now. Selfslayers are rotating around and going to try and pinch them on the supply point. Gunblade is still surviving on that point. It was four heroes that he's keeping occupied on that home point. Also trying to get the Trebin to keep the heroes and the units off. He will start capping it. But as you can see, 
The attack is wet on it down a little bit. The heroes are falling. We are down to 13 on the defense on the attack, 15 on the defense. Unit numbers are pretty close, so we are still pretty close. There's still plenty of time. D uh, Tinja picks up Gotchi. There's a lots of heroes died on the attack there from that push, but it was a very good effort on that push from Holy Crusaders. Now they've got the far left supply point here and using the trebs to take the units out that are on that supply point that they just had just a second ago. That's taken out some good units here. And uh, now their units are going to get set up and ready for the defence now from Cersters. Cersters are going to have to get their self positioned quickly because if Holy Crusaders move quick, there is only seven heroes left, so they're going to have to wait to get their unit cluster back and their hero cluster back because there is no use of pushing with seven because you will most doubtedly just all die out quicker. There's so many heroes on the defence ready for it. It would uh, it would be a waste. Of, of your life and uh, a waste of your unit if you were to start pushing is just a seven man stack they are up to nine now slowly getting themselves back into it. holy crusaders good wee strategy though they did get the, the supply point they held them off they used the trebs but surf slayers are now going to defend the main point up here on the home point they are not defending the little alleyways either side of it kind of similar to the way you would defend it on the sieges this is kind of how you see sieges defending its home base point and it's tough it's very tough it's a very tough defense we are back to 15 now from holy crusaders a lot of them coming through the main gate young and so on and the rest of the boys but as it comes to unit wise let's have a look we've got some cavalry units there's army girl lancers there's keshix plenty of keshix modals palace guards we've got senji grenadiers in there and some flamers so what way are they going to push here from it Cerslers trying to get the supply point defended still as well, keeping some people there just to make sure that the supply point in the back doesn't get capped because if it does, that makes it very difficult for this home defence. Now, we're all coming down from this supply point here and down centre. Bornoff and Tyler just making sure that they're keeping the units on the centre. We're going to kind of come around here as things stand. Home, Bornoff is just kind of keeping units moving around. The Armagers are just slowly baiting, just slowly watching. Rockstar's kind of look to see what's going on. Fatboy's starting to see if he can dismount him, but he doesn't. Gregorius and the boys of Holy Crusaders are trying to set up into this little alleyway and into the little corner just to avoid any units to be taken off or flanked here. Now the Trebs are going to come in. This is it. Jinjin hits the Treb. Will this Treb hit anything at this point in time? It literally comes over. It does hit a couple of the heroes, it does hit a couple of the ISGs, and as that happens, Holy Crusaders will start moving some of their units around to see, they're, they're checking with their heroes to see where the setup is at, you've got some players looking to kind of flank around the side, you've got Fatboy LeBay, you've got Tyler and Bornoff down here as well, if they can hold off them guys on that push, the far right hand side push here from Holy Crusaders can work, it is working, it's going to be a push straight in here now, now they need the units to push into the ISGs, but the supply point Units from Serfs there are coming under rotation. Tyler and Bornov's going to have to try and do a flank around here. Can they flank around the side and create an opportunity for this push? Serfs there have got all their units coming around and their Cav are going to try and get in the flank and pinch them on the home point defence here. This is a fantastic pinch from Serfslers. They're pushing from both sides now on the defence. The attack are down to 13 players, 500 units at this point in time, and all the heroes are here. Tyler and Bornoff is going around the far back. Baby Dragon's going to get on the point. He's going to start a cap at the point. The Trebs are getting baited in. Bornoff is coming off the point. Now the heroes are going to have to get back on the point and fight for the point. Heroes are coming in. Trebs are still coming. DGK down. Mass Flames down. Young is down. God King Azura is down. Robert the Stable is down. There's plenty of people dying, but most of the de deaths are going in the way of the, the attackers here. The defence is doing strong. A Treb coming onto home point here. Could be pretty devastating here if the units stay there long enough. If you can get on the point long enough, people, you could have kept them fighting there, but the Treb is going to miss the majority of the units that are there. We are not halfway capped, but there's still five minutes left. Only four heroes left, but 439 units on the Holy Crusader side. It's a very interesting strategy. Cerster's going back to the supply point to get their units healed up as quickly as possible. They've got 668 units, still 14 heroes alive. Now, in this battle, Bigger Apple, Fat Boy coming around with the pikes and the cavalry down the center. Now, they're going to have to try to be quite clever with this. Now, they don't have that much time. They've probably got one full strong push in by the time all 15 players are alive and ready to go. But Cerslers, because they've rotated to the supply point, there is a quick opportunity for Cav to come in. But Lex, Kara, Esponja are all coming around to react to that, and nobody's going to be able to get a quick push here. 
there is no quick push for Holy Crusaders. It's a good rotation of Cerslers. Cerslers were quick to react to that to make sure. Gregorius has left the battle for now. I have no idea what's happened to him. Is he lost or has he been kicked? Uh, I have no idea what's happened there, but they're down to, They're down one member now. That is it. Gregorius is out of the battle. And will he get back in? I am not entirely sure if that's possible in this kind of scenario at this point. Cerslers still got a big unit advantage. A couple hundred over Holy Crusaders. Doing well on this home point defence. Very, very good defence. Good flanks from Cerslers, which definitely stopped the push. Um, and pushed it. It looked like a good... Uh, it looked like a very good push. So far, this is the first matchup as well, guys. This is still the first matchup for Holy Crusaders and Cerslers. It's 1-0-0 uh, zero, zero until this one. This is 0-0. Zero, zero. Bigger Apple falls his death. Robert De Stable picks up that kill. We've got Holy Crusaders trying to look for that supply point area side now. They're all coming around the supply point area. The five, five or six heroes on this right-hand side. Well, four of the heroes stay on the left side looking for something in the back. Tinjez looking to pick up that supply point in the back here to stop them re and re recapping, uh, well, like resupplying really quickly pretty much is what they want to do. Now they're going to try and use this right supply point as a bait and tread position. Can they start baiting some of these trebs and get the units pushed in? They're set up in the centre. They're also set up on the supply point push. They're coming around the supply point. The Treb's coming onto the supply now. It is going to wipe out some units here in the Treb. 624. We're going down to 620. But that that, that, that tower there, as you can see, stops quite a lot of that push there. The push is coming in now, though. They're trying to pinch him on this little area here. We're going to keep an eye on as much as we can here in the background. You've got Fatboy fighting Tinjev on the supply point so they don't lose the supply point. The Treb is coming in on top of Lex's units and Lex and the heroes there of Surf Slayers. The Treb hits the ISGs, but it's just a little bit further back than they would have liked. The push is coming good, but Surf Slayers pushing out from both ends, and so far we're quite evenly matched here on this push, but the defence are doing a lot better in unit count. They're down to 268 on the attack. They're slowly losing numbers. The Trebs don't seem to be doing as big a damage and as big a unit kills as it should be or as it could be. And I think that will be a very difficult situation here. A very difficult situation for Holy Crusaders here. There is only 1 minute and 57 seconds. Arkas making sure his Modal are going to go on the home point so that it can't be capped in the background. Daddy Drag is looking to try and do that flank. Tinja has still been a nuisance in the back here, but he's going to get picked up and killed in the back end there. But he's done what he had to do with that supply point to stop the quick resupply of units. Cersters now silent out, picking up as much hero kills as possible. The Trebs are still incoming, but there is only four heroes alive, and it's the four heroes that are on the supply point here. Cersters know it. There's 11 of them alive. They're going to start pushing towards these four heroes that are alive. There is four Trebs left, but at this point in time, Cersters still managing to... Get the cap getting lost for a second from Baby Dragon. But it doesn't look like they're going to be able to grab it. Baby Dragon is going to get chased by the four heroes here. And he will fall to his death. And the hero is now fighting on the point. Out of the remainder heroes are left of Holy Crusader. Cerfster's got plenty of units and heroes there ready to supply. Uh, to stop the supply. And the Gunblader was going away his maul. Swinging. But he will fall to his death here quite quickly. I am sure of it. Kara, Lex and Esponja trying to pick up these fights. Masculines will pick it up as well. And Gunblade dies to Masculine, just as we says there. Down the through centre, the units are coming in from the centre. They're going to have to get some Cavs charges in. Derevi, they've got units coming in, but it's going to be a bit too late. 40, 40 seconds to cap this point. People and everybody is going in. The Trebs are coming from the centre. They're going to have to run straight through the centre and get on the point. And kill the heroes and Modal that are on the point. Plenty of people, plenty of heroes coming, but is this going to be a hero battle now on the home point? And no doubt, it's not enough time for Holy Crusaders. But it was a fantastic battle to watch. It was definitely a fantastic battle. 20 seconds left on this point. Heroes are going to die. Jackie Tree picking up the comrades and make it happen. Uh, Mass Flames will be fighting on the point here. Lots of people who picking up lots of kills here on the attack. They've, they've, they've done what they could. They've done a really good effort. Holy, like, Holy Crusaders put a great effort in against Cersler. Still caught plenty of people on the point here, hero-wise. But they will all run out of time. And as things stand, it now currently stands. Cerslers win their defence. That is now 1-0 to Cerslers. Nutella Waffles picking up the MVP on the attack with the three hero kills. 131 unit kills. Actually, to be honest, in terms of hero kills for the attack, there wasn't as many as I thought there was. It seemed like they picked up a lot more uh, in, in terms of hero kills, but definitely not as much as it, it actually was. Defence... Picking up great amount of unit kills here. Mass Flames gets the MVP with the three hero kills, 106 unit kills. 
but you've got Robert Disable, uh, Disable there with four hero kills, you've got Roxor with seven, you've got Dark Flame, Derevi and OP with five hero kills, and then Tint Jeff down at the bo second bottom from the bottom there, he's got six hero kills, and he was just a big major distraction on that supply point as much as possible. On our post battle analysis, a lot more battles inside the city this time instead of outside, considering the last matchup was, it was quite good, uh, there was definitely opportunities for Holy Crusaders to get good flanks in there, but look at the difference in hero kills, hero deaths for Holy Crusaders was 52, 52 hero deaths in comparison to 18, right, that is, that is a massive difference, three times the amount of deaths pretty much we're at, um, and that it's not going to win you the match, I'm afraid Holy Crusaders is unlucky, the Trebs were in the, were in good positions, they just weren't getting any kills with them, and the, the kind of places you want them to be, but the units kind of moved off of that pretty quickly, and the, the tribe just doesn't come in quick enough for it to be dealing the damage that it could have done. In terms of, tri yeah, troops killed, Sarslayer's picked up obviously a little bit more, 400 units kills more, and uh, go on to win this first matchup. Fantastic effort from you guys from Holy Crusaders, a great battle.